was better so that uh, CPUs yes the, this is the one of the reasons but check is course okay please check yeah this is the only way sorry a rook h8 check is forcing. After king e7, then rook e4 check. Mm -hmm. And king f6. King e6. King e6. This position probably is still winning. Mm -hmm. uh, but why to complicate? Rook mm -hmm. 6 check? Mm -hmm. Yeah, rook e3. Bishop? Yeah, take your rook. I can take the rook, but he, ta he takes take it, the rook. and I, I have to play bishop c6 or what? It's no because the, the, this pawn uh, is weak now. Yeah. Still, I don't, I don't want to exchange my rook. So I miss, I miss this move, but lucky for me, <laughs> I found. I found. Six. Now B6. Uh, rook C6. Uh, rook C6 is in the place. We're optimistic. Probably white is still winning after uh, rook C6 because I can play rook B7. Oh, but uh, D6. Uh, it's not good. This pawn here is, is okay. Keep this knight still out of the game. Sometimes with the king on e7 we have this trick. So this pawn here is just fine. Can you play rook h6 maybe? Yeah, that's not really. Yeah, we just can't play her. We went to the rook c on d7. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Of course, it's still winning probably, but I didn't see how. <laughs> because now we have problems with this mm -hmm. pawn. Yeah. He coordinated his pieces. Mm -hmm. okay. his are, yeah. This knight is no longer in danger. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> but you know, okay, this four. rook on b6 is just fine because yeah. this knight is uh, under, under the so maybe spot. maybe we should move out g rook to g5 <coughs> or g3 and then play rook h6. Oh yes, exactly. Rook g3. G3? Yeah. <coughs> Looks like stupid move. Did you yeah. say king g3? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You are very close. <laughs> <laughs> and he played. Uh, he was really short of time, and he played. Rook e7. Oh, that's a blunder. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And after rook e6, it's no more for us. It's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's going to deal with that. What is after rook e2? Or rook e5, right? Or rook e5, yeah, rook e5. Rook e5. Maybe this. King e7. D6 first. D6 first. So keep king in the box. Yeah. Okay, five D6. Yeah. Is the white move bishop B6? D6 first. D6 first. Uh, yeah. Wings, but other way to win is and now D6. Nice, yes. nice. Oh, no, no. Castle. I didn't take the rook. Yeah. So it's all over. Yeah. And after rook H6, <laughs> you resign. Mm -hmm. So, young players. 
remember, this is the good example why you have to develop your pieces before uh, <laughs> he never moved before, huh? everything, like, before taking some pounds or, or, or so this knight didn't even move for for a second in this game and all of my moves were against uh, this knight and against exchanges so sometimes uh, during the game i didn't even calculate uh, lines when I saw that uh, I'm gonna exchange rook or bishop for knight, it, it was like okay, probably I'm winning, but it will be too much work for me uh, in this game. Mm -hmm. And these practical choices are uh, even more important in in US because you play two two rounds every day, uh, almost uh, every tournament. Yeah, you can play mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. In Europe, uh, it's not. It's not common that you play uh, two games. This was uh, the tournament I played two games uh, uh, a day. So I didn't want to waste my energy for calculating some crazy lines. And that's why I had like, uh, when the game was over, I had like over one hour more than my opponent. Because mm. he was, oh, well, of course, he, he had some more difficult choices <laughs> than me, but uh, still. Uh, this is a good example when you don't have to calculate really hard uh, just to think uh, overall about the position and simple rules. Don't exchange your good uh, piece for his weak piece. When he had good knight on d4, just exchange it because mm -hmm. he's good. So, yeah. Now it looks easy. <laughs> During the game, I had some <laughs> mm -hmm. worries, of course. Yes. This is a trivia so, question. Which, which piece did not move for black? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Horse. <laughs> horse. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, Let's give you. a round of applause. Okay. Now for Simon. <laughs>